at five, a Mobile police officer on administrative leave and facing criminal domestic violence charges. Our investigative reporter, Brendan Kirby, live at MPD tonight. And Brendan, this stems from allegations made by the officer's wife. Yeah, that's right, Lenise. The criminal complaint is not yet available, and law enforcement authorities declined to discuss the details. But the woman made some very serious allegations in a petition for a protective order. The alleged victim writing in that petition that Officer Carter tried to rape her while hitting and strangling her last night at their home in Irvington. Police arrested Officer Carter late last night, charging him with domestic violence strangulation. Officer Carter is relatively new to the force. He grabbed Graduated from the police academy in November. For now, he's on paid administrative leave, but public safety director Lawrence Batiste says he expects an internal review to be completed in a week or two, after which Officer Cotter likely will go before a trial board to determine whether he should be disciplined or fired. As we complete the administrative process of the investigation, we don't necessarily have to wait until the uh, outcome of the the criminal charges, uh, if we find that there have been policy violations uh, that, that go beyond administratively what he is allowed to do uh, within the police department, then we can take appropriate action to move forward from there. Officer Cotter remains jailed at Mobile County Metro Jail. He's scheduled to have a bond hearing on Thursday. Reporting live from MPD headquarters, Brendan Kirby, Fox 10 News.